Hi everyone. Um, I've previously talked about how reusable our tins are and I got a really good question from one of our customers um, uh, in response to me asking what we could do better. And one of the things she asked for was um, tips or a video on how to um, clean out your tin so you can reuse it. So the one thing that a lot of people don't know is that um, once you hear it, it kind of makes sense because it happens with clothes and other things, but I recommend this for makeup brushes too. Um, to break down the oils from the balm in the tin, obviously scrape out whatever is left. So there's a little bit left in here. Scrape it out um, with a paper towel rub it all over your face if you need to, um, whatever, whatever you want to do with it. And then um, the best thing to do before you wet the tin is to uh, soap it up. So if you put the soap in first, what it's going to do or detergent is it's going to break down the uh, oils so that they wash out easily. And again, there's a little bit of excess residue on there. So I recommend using um, a paper towel to get the excess out. Let me just grab one. And you can do this a, a couple times just to be sure, um, or even put it in the, in the dishwasher after you've cleaned it out once. Um, but that is the general key to really getting the product, any oil-based product out of a container. Wash it with hot water um, and then you'll see that it is like new, minus the dents, but those are part of the character for me. So I have an entire drawer full of old Uli's tins um, that I wash and reuse for samples of new products and stuff that I'm working on or uh, for travel or vitamins or putting some uh, products in to take with me when I go away, stuff like that. So now you can see it's completely clean. I also recommend for sanitary reasons to spritz with some rubbing alcohol afterwards and that will uh, kill any anything off. But it is oil-based so there's not much bacterial growth or anything like that, you're basically just cleaning it out so it's new for reuse. Um, I hope that is helpful and um, I'll write the one, two, three steps underneath the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that quick little tutorial and see you soon. Bye!